welcome to Geography Gen. Today I'm in Dorset and we've walked all along the southwest coastal path to a place called the Foreland. Um, and what you can see here is a really famous geographical landform and it's called a stack. And this particular one has a special name and it's called Old Harry. Now what you should be able to see is the rock here is all white in colour and that's because it's made out of chalk. It's a relatively strong map, a uh, strong rock, sorry. And I'm gonna show you on a map what it looks like. So if I show you this map here, where we are is over here. And you should be able to see on the map, it actually says Old Harry. And Old Harry, as I say, is a stack. And you should be able to see that this chalk strip of rock is running between two bands of weak rock called clay, which form bays on either side of it. So this bit of land is a headland and it sticks out. Now what I'm going to talk about here is how Old Harry and the stack has actually formed. So if you have a look over here, what you can see is you should be able to see that you've got a cliff here. At the bottom of the cliff, the seawater has been eroding the base of the cliff through a process mainly called hydraulic action, where it pushes air into the cracks and then it breaks apart the rocks at the back of the cracks and also through abrasion. And abrasion is when rocks hit the bottom of the cliff and wear it away. So what happens is over time, you'll see cracks beginning to form at the bottom of this cliff. The cracks then get bigger and bigger and they eventually turn into caves. Now using a chalk drawing, I've actually created a picture of what's happening here. So you've got a crack, then the crack gets larger and forms a cave. Over years and years, the back of the cave will erode to create an arch so you can actually see through it. And you should be able to see there is an example of an arch just there in front of you. Eventually, the very top part of the arch becomes very weak and the rock here is really heavy and it collapses downwards into the arch, creating the next stage, which is a stack. And you can see the stack over there and that particular stack has got a special name called Old Harry. Now the next stage, if you look at the bottom of the stack, you should be able to see that it's thinner at the bottom where the waves have eroded it. Eventually, that stack will collapse sideways and will reach the final stage in the landfall formation and will become a stump. And I think one of the fun activities you can do in terms of uh, looking at this in lessons is what you can do is you can actually recreate your own picture on blue paper using chalk uh, just to remind yourself um, that it is chalk. This is rather a spectacular landform um, and you can see it right here with Geography Gen. Another little fun activity you can do is if you prefer modelling to drawing one thing you can do is you can use some uh, white modelling clay or play-doh and you can recreate, so I've done my picture here, but I thought it'd be quite good fun to have a go at actually making the landform. So what I've done is I've used Play-Doh to create a little crack here, uh, my little caves here, I've created my arch here. Um, this is my stack. And then over here, I've got my little bit of stump there. And then what you can do if you really want to make it look amazing is you can get some bits of green paper and put them along the top uh, to recreate the grass that you can see that's started to grow on the top of the landform.